Welcome back to Chukitibu Media. This is the period that I bring to you the headlines of newspapers all around the world, starting from Nigeria. You can see newspapers like uh, the Tribune, the Daily Times, the Authority, the Standard Times, this Nigeria, the News Orb, the Leadership, Daily Assets, the Business NG, this day, and all the rest. You also have the headlines from the Business News, Business Day, the Business NG, and all the rest. Sit back and enjoy. You also have some foreign newspapers headlines in this episode. Sit back, pick the headlines the way you see it. You can also go out there and pick the newspapers as you want and make a big mini out of all these headlines. Thank you for listening. Chuki Table Media. See me at the end of the headlines. Look at what the papers have, and we're starting with the Tribune this morning. And uh, it leads with the story on the presidential broadcast, national broadcast. What Tinobu should have said, Shoyinka Atiku Falano. That story you'll find on page 22. And the writers go like this. President's speech fell short of addressing continuing deterioration of state seizure of protest management. Shoyinka, his address failed to offer any immediate solutions to the Nigerian people. Atiku. Let's also look at um, the bottom of the page. Economic loss of protests can't be estimated coming from the budget minister. Sonwulu opens engagement channels with leaders. Atiku condemns the use of live ammunition. Those are the riders, some of the riders, are on the front page of the newspaper. Let's uh, go to the Daily Independent now, and it also focuses firmly on the presidential broadcast. Tinobu draws flak after broadcast on hashtag end bad governance protest. Speech hollow failed to address hardship of Nigerians, Atiku, devoid of answers to demands by traumatized youths. That's uh, from Oze Kome, and speech didn't address crackdown on protesters, says Shoyinka. Let's go further down the page, and uh, okay, we, we have to move on now to the Daily Times. Uh, leads also with the story, and bad governance, Atiku PDP RSM kick as Tinubu begs protesters not to shut down economy. President's speech hollow, diversionary, failed to address hardship of Nigerians, Atiku PDP. Address mockery of ordinary people, full of arrogance, empty, empty promises, RSM. Tinubu hasn't disappointed Nigerians, as Okukwe. And further down the page, you look at uh, the headline there, Hashtag end bad governance, showing a council's security agents on handling of protests. Let me quickly point you to another story there. Enugu government approves 183 billion naira for 141 urban roads, 20 rural roads. That's also top of the page right above the masthead of the Daily Times. Let's go now to the Nigerian News Direct. Hashtag end bad governance. Protesters defy FG as demonstration enters day five with renewed vigor. Audio achievements have no place in our country. Protesters blow hot. Your broadcast disappointing, uninspiring, Southwest PDP tells Tinobu. And now if you look at other headlines there, Shoyinka Serap berate police brutality on protesters, journalists. That story you'll find on page five. This day newspaper is next. Protests. Some sacrifices needed to rescue economy, says Bagudu. Bagudu, of course, is the Minister of Budget and Economic Planning in Nigeria, Senator Abubakar Bagudu. Knox commendations trail Tinubu's broadcast over protests. IBB. Democracy has come to stay in Nigeria. We must do everything to safeguard it. But that's one of the riders there. And another one says, Shoyinka warns security agents on handling of protesters. Diri, Edo commend peaceful protests. Mba Umahi, Uzodimba salute Southeast for opting out. Let's go now to this Nigeria. August protest. Shoyinka condemns security agents handling of protesters. 
says Tinobu should have chided them in national broadcast. Ohanezi wants FG to stop agitation. If you go down the bottom of the page, prosecute oil thieves. Review subsidy, says a former ADC presidential candidate, Kachiku. That story is on page four. The front page of the Nigerian pilot leads with the story, subsidy, my action in nation's interest. It's also in red, and of course that's alluding to President Tinobu's uh, nationwide broadcast on Sunday. Right, I say, Tinobu says removal of fuel subsidy, other actions are in interest of Nigeria's economy. That fuel subsidy, multiple forex system, constituted news around Nigeria's economic jugular. Bottom of the page now, you will see the headline, Jam warns against strange admission practices. You also see uh, the story there, I can help Tinubu's government tackle hunger, generate 15 trillion naira in two years. Who is saying that? You'll have to go to the Nigerian pilot inside pages to confirm that. Let's go now to the authority newspaper. End bad governance. Don't threaten Igbos in Southwest. Tinubu warns bigots, mourns victims of hunger protests. And uh, let's also take a look at other headlines there. Protests. Anambra people commended for promoting national peace. That story is on page five. The Standard Times also leads with the story on the, uh, pro the, um, uh, the address by the president. Hashtag end bad, bad governance protest showing Ka Falano, Atiku PDP fault, Tinobu's nationwide address. And that's the story right there on the front page of the newspaper. Let's look at another interesting story there. Or your council chairman, Dump Algon, following Supreme Court judgment. The story is on page nine of the Standard Times. The Abuja Inquirer is next under review, Tinubu under fire over broadcasts. That's under the hashtag and bad governance protest. PDP Falano is equally Others flay president. Protesters vow to push on. Kachiku Akonde sue for peace. The Daily Assets also leads with the story on the presidential broadcast. Shoyinka Atiku, others fault Tinubu address over protest. Serving bullets where bread is pleaded, ominous retrogression. Shoyinka, it's hollow. Inadequate in addressing suffering Nigerians, says Atiku. He didn't address our concerns, protesters. Looking at the bottom of the page, family of seven lands in hospital after consuming pap, chemical mixed with guinecon used to make food. That's the doctor speaking there. The explainer is next, and that's a weekly publication of the National Orientation Agency. Presidential order to NNPCL, crash of fuel price, exchange rates imminent. Crash of fuel price, exchange rates imminent. That's the top story on the front page of the explainer. And if you look to the right side of the paper, just in green, highlights fake meeting of July 29, 2024. There are six of them outlined there, and uh, you would want to get a copy of the paper uh, uh, to be able to know what is right there uh, on the front page of the paper. What stood out for me in this episode of the headlines of the newspaper is the criticism from all corners given over the speech given by Mr. Tinobu on this ongoing national protest people that you would think ordinarily they're supposed to support the government. All of them are coming out to criticize the manner and the content of the notes read out by Tinobu. People are not really happy. And this type of people are the people that have been supporting the government. Now they are coming out. People like Professor Wali Shifu Inka is speaking. And a host of others. I think everybody is now realizing that what is going on or this economic policy rolled out by this present government is not in favor of anybody unless 
if they don't want to say the truth. Economic hardship is biting hard on everyone, unless they want to be disingenuous. I think it's better everybody comes out and speak the truth and directly to power to let them know or to let Tinubu know that this what is going on in Nigeria is bad. And it's sounding sensitive. When you listen to this broadcast, you will understand what I mean. Probably you're on the side of you know the masses too. You will appreciate that. Otherwise, that means you must be benefiting from what Tinubu is doing currently doing in Nigeria. Insensitivity, arrogancy, and all the rest shown out in the speech he gave recently. This is Chukitibu Media. Like this broadcast. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow in another little episode of this uh, newspaper's headline. See you then. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.